So there are a couple of different ways that you can access the online textbook. Um, you can access it through Blackboard, of course. First, you go to Blackboard uh, to FCPS 24-7 Learning. Log in with your username or password. If you're unable to access Blackboard at any time during the year, make sure that you send me an email um, and letting me know and I will reset your password for you. Uh, once you hit the Blackboard, your page looks like this, or if you're in Spanish 3, then it says uh, Spanish 3 here. Obviously. You'll scroll down to where it says um, External Websites in the menu bar. And then you'll click on the link to where it says Avancemos Textbook Website. Once you click there, it opens up this website. Um, and that's where you'll type in the unique username and password that you were given at the beginning of the year. If you've forgotten your username and password, um, then you need to check your contacts because at the beginning of the year, you should have put the textbook information in as a contact. Um, let's see. I remember what mine is. There we go. Okay. Now, if you're in Spanish 3, then you're going to see three different textbooks. Sometimes we use materials from the previous levels. Um, during in our lessons during class and also they're there so that you can review uh, the materials and activities taught in the previous levels. If you're in Spanish 2 then you're only going to see the Spanish 1 textbook which is this orange one right here um, and then you'll see the second textbook which is the blue textbook for Spanish 2. If you're in Spanish 3 you'll see those two textbooks as well as the the very last one which is for Avancemos 3. You'll click go to online textbook then once you click there, it's important that you know which chapter we're covering. Um, the beginning of the year, obviously, we're going to cover Lección Preliminar. So I click on this. Don't worry about selecting a certain subject, uh, section of the textbook. Just click on the, the chapter title, Lección Preliminar, Estados Unidos, and then click Go. Once you click Go, it automatically will take you to the textbook pages. You can navigate the pages using the arrows on either side of the page. This is how you can access the textbook pages from home. Obviously, if it's too small for you to read, if you need to make it bigger, you click on page view, and then you can zoom in like this. Unfortunately, there's no way to zoom in and see the whole page uh, at once. Um, that's kind of a, a fault of the, the, pro, the company who made this program. Um, some of the resources that you all will find helpful this year, you'll click on student resources, and the at-home tutor. Once you click on this link, some students have had issues receiving the pop-up um, screen opening up. Make sure that you have allowed pop-ups from this page. If you have not, then you've got to go into your internet settings and select the, the security settings to allow for those pop-ups um, so that it does not block pop-ups or cookies from this website. Let's see if I can find. Once you're at the at-home tutor, you expand the page. If you try and click on any of the chapters, it's not going to open until you first select a level. I suggest choosing level B to start. If that becomes, if the activities there are too difficult, then you can always change to level A. If they're too easy, you can go on to level C. So I'm going to click level B to start. And here's a, here's her, how you can change the, the levels as well once you've already opened up the activities. We're going to go to Lección Preliminar. preliminar. And here you can find activities with vocabulary and grammar. Okay, as you see, the Lección Preliminar has a lot of different activity, practice activities to review the grammar from Spanish 1 and 2. Um, under vocabulary, you can opt to practice the flashcards to practice the vocabulary. Here are the instructions for how to use this. Um, and then practice. You can practice a few different types of activities. Again, if these are too hard for you, you can switch the level to level A and you'll see a few um, easier questions. Each level and each type of activity, there are five sets of questions. There's usually about three to five questions per uh, per section. And then per level, there are always five pages. Okay. Um, so let's do Gramática Práctica 1. And it says, Práctica la Gramática haciendo las siguientes actividades. Now, you'll read the questions and you select your answer. The good thing about this website is that it shows you at the end which questions you get right or wrong right away. If you notice a question that you got wrong and you're not sure why you got them wrong, then make a note of that so that you can bring me that question in class and you can ask me about it and I would be happy to explain it. So that if you see a question like this on your test or quiz that you 
can get it right at that time. So I've answered all five questions and I'm going to click submit. Let's just answer one of them wrong just for per se to see what it looks like. So I click submit and then it shows me which one I got wrong. Um, I can change the answer and then resubmit so that I get all five checks and then I go on to the next section. Okay. Um, let's see. In some of the other units, so this is just the review unit. When we get to the regular units, you'll see unidad uno, for example, lección uno, lección dos. So let's click on lección uno. Here, you not only have practice with the vocabulary, practice with the grammar, but you also, under grammar, you see presentación gramática uno. And then you see práctica. In order to practice it, you click where it says práctica. And that's where you find the activities. Again, if you want to change the level at any time, you go up here. If you still need to review some of the gramática or you need a, um, another explanation, then you click on presentación gramática uno. Here, you will see that it opens up a window that offers um, some of the conjugation, some of the explanation, connects it to, to English. Here, there's not, it doesn't show you too much, too much comparison um, to English, but other, other grammar topics will show you more. The conjugations, here it's showing you the preterito, um, the conjugations of regular verbs and the car gardens are verbs and then there's a little animated um, explanation once you click on this tab then it should open up okay um, the lectura is just for it's some reading activities and escuchar is to practice your listening activities 